Hello there, Crackbook, to everybody who has an account here on Crackbook, um, to everybody on Twitter who's receiving this from Crackbook, so it's not going directly to my Twitter, it's coming from my uh, Crackbook page, and then Amber will then upload this so it'll be available on my YouTube. We're calling it on, guys. Well, I'm calling it on, and I'm asking you to stand with me. It's coming up to the National Adoption Drive, where they are going to speed up the process for children to be placed with adoption. We currently have a mother in nine days. Her baby is going to be taken off her. She has been through, um, she's had a birth. She's bonded with the baby. She's been through mother and baby unit. The um, CAFCAF officer, not the CAFCAF, yeah, the CAFCAF officer it has, is, is sitting here and everybody else is basically saying that the baby should be removed and that she hasn't made significant changes. I've had enough. I've had enough of sitting here on the other side of crack book, watching family after family after family after family. And it doesn't matter if it's the children being taken or the old, old what classed as OAPs being moved and having their houses taken and thrown in places or separated and thrown out in the streets. It doesn't matter where the people are coming into Northwest. That's where I'm from, guys. I'm from Preston, remember? My children were born in Preston. Aaron and Faith were born in Preston. Um, Elijah and Shiloh are a little bit rocky with this cough because of the economy seven heating so I might be backwards and forwards available. I noticed that my halt the adoption account has come up with a number in front which means it's being scanned. Um, so guys they are preparing for the fact that we are taking further direct action. I have a yellow jacket on, it's not my first yellow jacket. This one is currently unbranded and um, my first ever yellow jacket I started in 2013 and it was called, um, it was actually a website, it was called uh, Help Home, ho uh, Homeless, uh, home, well, I can't remember, it's downstairs, I'll go and grab it one day. That's where we basically opened, well Dean actually was part of the crew that was opening the squats and then we were opening street kitchens and it's grown and grown. So it started in London, then it went up north, went to Manchester, Liverpool, Bolton, blah, 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 blah. And then obviously other people have come along and then it's gone on to um, Nottingham, Leeds, blah, 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 blah. That's where the yellow jackets originally for me, not for what other people do, because what happens in these networks is everybody stands under their own intentions, their own ground, their own thing. I get fucked off with it because we have to brand as one. We have to come together as one. We are fragmented. They divide, they control. Now today I have had a further, let me show you something. Here's my driving license. There is now rumours going around that I don't have an actual driving license and I'm driving around in with no insurance, no driving license, all created by somebody here. I've been to get Graham's stuff today. Wow, it's been so interesting going through his uh, videos and stuff. There's even videos of him with um, Ozzy Osbourne and getting very drunk. Um, so I'm going to have so much fun. Um, I'm going to have these literally safe and protected because there's a lot of people that don't want some of this information from the BBC coming out. There's a lot of people causing issues. Somebody in the lift, two guys basically walked in, walked out, basically turned around to Graham and said, she's trouble if she helps you, she'll cause you shit, and then walked out and disappeared. And I actually saw him, so I was sat in the car. Then again, today, somebody coming in saying, she doesn't have a driving license, Graham. She's driving you around with no driving license in, right? So then this is kicked off to social again. Well, it's kicked off to the police this time. Um, so I'm getting pissed off now. This place, it's not even about me as a protester doing this. It's about me being in, in a social, like, home, uh, what's the word? Social housing environment. One of the reasons that so many so, so social workers are unindated so many reports is because people use it as gaslighting people use it as manipulation people use it in these areas to third party cause people issues and things like that but the problem with that is children then get taken children have been taken for excuses like nappy rash outside and you know out in the media today or posted out on all the sites children have been taken because of medical conditions that these numpties are not qualified to understand and they can't afford to bring in the level of medical people and actually because of the crisis within it they actually can't really take the time off to come into these court systems everybody gets known by a piece of paper everybody gets known by a diagnosis everybody gets known by a tick box thing 
But the problem is, is people are not taking into consideration the effects and trauma that this is causing families. And people are being unlawfully sectioned, people are being unlawfully prisoned, and it's time to have a reset, it really is. We have an opportunity with Brexit, whether you believe Brexit is or isn't, whether you believe in the one world order, whether you believe in any of it, but we have a chance now to intervene on the fucking lot of it and just say, we the people have had enough. We the people are the ones having to go out, keep money going, to keep roofs over our head, at high stakes, we're paying ridiculous charges for this and this, we're being taxed by this and this. All this country has to do is reset into positions, that's it. Positions, no parties, positions. Run it like a business. Literally say to every person in the UK that your parents are responsible for you. If they don't want you, then obviously we have to keep helping them and put them in prison for being, you know, um, you know, for fucking bringing a child into the world and neglecting it in the first place, bang, in prison, yeah? Force parents to actually take responsibility. But actually, as people come to of age, everybody is entitled to a home. Everybody is entitled to the needs and things that they require in order to be who they are and be part of the service. And then everybody contributes 10%. Bang, that's it. No tax from this, no tax from that, no tax from this. You literally, you do what you do and you contribute 10%. But your business, your service is all in line. And if you want to run porn shops and fucking child pornography and fucking all that shit, oop, out and out of this fucking country. Because our, our country, our children deserve a future. Our children deserve the education that is to a standard that is actually teaching them the truth, is actually preparing them for real life communication, relationships, real things. Yes, science, absolutely bloody brilliant. Science and religion, you're colliding, come together and accept it. You know, you don't need to keep proving this stuff. We understand perpetual transmutation. We understand energy is. We understand atoms, all of this stuff. We, the human beings, will never, ever, ever understand it to the degree because majority of people here on the planet are two or three dimensional people. Can't think past that. There's like 33 degrees of, of whatever, you know, we, the British people, are insignificant in the scale of this entire fucking world. The Queen, bye bye, bye bye, go run your charities, do the same as everybody else, do your work. Get up, run your charities, do your service, take your fucking 10% and give your fucking 10% and everything else goes back in the bloody pot or whichever way we're going to do it. And, 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 and seriously, we have to, we ha and I'm not talking about rioting, I'm actually asking everybody in Yellow Jackets to actually step up now as in between the police to actually take the position now, right, basically now they're putting 200 new police into every county around the UK. That's a lot of police per place, right? They're retraining everybody for XR. We know this, it's been in the papers today. They're pretty much now bringing in a team to deal with all people taking direct action. Okay, so let's strategize. Let's use tactics, as we said, you know. It's time to have tactics, strategy. So basically, we need to amalgamate we need to bring XR, Yellow Jackets, boom, 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 Labour, Conservatives, the fucking lot of us, and have one big fucking party all out of our sides, our town halls. I'm going to be starting from the National Adoption Drive with Halt the Adoption Drive. I'll be back out there constantly during that time, tagging, contacting all of the adoption agencies. All I'm saying is, is please ask where your child has come from. If your parent is in this network, fuck off and leave the child alone. We support that children are abused that's why we are here but unfortunately they're not just abused within their own families and they do need to be held accountable for the abuse that they're causing their children with re-education with understanding because unfortunately we live in a world right now where we've all been taught lies and we have to let go of those lies and we need to brainwash ourselves and we need to give it a clean and we need to reinstall us Stand with your feet firm, stand with your shoulders firm, stand with your feet 100% into the ground, contact a source, contact, creep down, crack your shoulders, do what you need to do, crack your back, give yourself a little bit of grounding, give yourself a little bit of wobble and say, yes, that's it, this is me. This is me, this is what I love, this is what I do, this is what I get up every morning to serve, this is why I'm here. One, 
I'm a mother, that's my role. I'm here for my children. I have six children, but I have seven children that I need justice for. My daughter Jessica was terminated by social services in Surrey. My son Liam was actually even moved from me at one particular point where his father ran with them. I was taken into hospital and sectioned. I had a lost and lost syndrome. It wasn't mental health at all. I was treated by my family and James's family fucking appallingly, left in a fucking thing for 11, month, 11 weeks until eventually on Christmas Eve, you know, they decided that Elijah, Liam needed his mum. You know, come on, don't waste my time here. You know, and then obviously I've been protected with Daniel. Um, because Graham just wouldn't take that shit off social. He's a man's man. He's a provider. He's a pr protector. Um, and um, but then obviously Stephen wasn't. Stephen was somebody who was drinking alcohol, downing Valium pills, taking. Uh, I think I don't even know whether it's crack or smack. I don't really know the difference. But to be honest, I, I, I get this wrong. So please forgive me on those. That's where I need to do some research and, and stuff. So I'm looking forward to watching Russell Brand. He's going to be on. The National Achievers platform, which is where I was, with Richard Branson and Sugar Tony Robbins, basically as their yellow jacket, pretty much. Fire walking, uh, bringing people, making sure everything ran, making sure the cue cards running at the Excel. So the Excel in London ran the platform Success Resources. It brought along speakers from entrepreneurs to speak to little people like us who paid a lot of money for information. I brought that information out for free. I presented to every speaker, every person that we took down to the interview about putting the great back in Britain, including Donald Trump's day. Um, and Donald Trump, Donald Trump scruffed my kid's head and Elijah, uh, Shara, uh, sorry, Aaron was literally on the table with, well, on the stage with um, Richard Branson shouting, I freaking rock. Um, that's the way that I mingled within the community. I was in the back rooms, I was in the green rooms, do you know what I mean? It was my service and my job to um, Anthony Robbins. Anthony Robbins, who's also going through just as much persecution, who's actually been um, married to a lovely lady. I know both of his. I know his ex-wife. I know his children. And I know, um, obviously, so I'm coming from a different grounds than just fear-mongering gossips. Um, I've actually, he's his photographs with, with me, with them um, at the events and stuff like that. We have to accept that money is nothing more than a piece of paper for exchange of time and service. It's a thing, it's a tool. It's no different than this, 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 and it's no different than this, or the price of the coffee or the price of the sugar. It's the value and the meaning that you attach to it. We have been completely, completely brainwashed over money. 10,000 units. Yes, that's all we were taught. If you went to a private school, then obviously you won't extend to millions and billions and trillions. At school, can you remember saying trillions? It felt like something completely out of our reach and attainable. There is nothing that is not attainable to you. Nothing. It's all about what you set your mind to, what you focus on, and what you allow to come in and change your belief systems. If you believe that you're an artist, then be an artist. If you can make something like this, then go and make something like this if you can go and put things in th people's hair then go do something like that if you can bake cakes go bake cakes if you love coffee then you're a cunt because you're poisoned in the world but you know if you baking again if you love music then you know hey liam that was for you by the way but i dropped the case um my son's coming around on Saturday. I've got a few people. Jason's coming around on Saturday, who's the grandson of Pete Parsons. Graham obviously is here. I've got to go back and forth tomorrow because the van wasn't big enough to get his stuff. So I've just left main stuff. I've already got the good stuff out. I've already taken it down to the locker. So I'm not bothered about that. Um, but yeah, you know, you could pay, you could pay one pound for this or you can pick it up in the 50p reduced. Still the same thing, just change value. You can buy everything that you need to for Christmas and then go to the January sales. It's still the same thing. It's just it's changed value. Do you know what I mean? So every single one of us has to realize that as long as we serve where we are, then the Lord will always look after us. We will always be provided with our needs. It may just not be in the way that you think and the way that you predicted. 
but you will always be at the right time, the right place, the right thing. All those needs will be met. It's only when you're pushing against something and the door's going boom, 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 that he's going, nah, 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 nah. that's not your path to walk right now. That's the way I want you to go. And you have to go, okay, I'm going on inspired action. I've just had an idea and I'm going to run with it. The problem is, is we have an idea and then we beat ourselves up about why we can't achieve it. We don't have enough money. It's too big. I don't know how to do this. I don't have the right connections. I don't know how to believe in myself right now while everybody I'm talking to about this idea says it's shit, it's crap. I don't agree with Kentucky Fried Chicken's ingredients, well, what they've now become, but the ingredients for the original was really good. And actually, it is a good one, it's just very expensive. He had 9,009 no's before he got somebody to help him take his ingredients into a chain of Kentucky Fried Chicken and take it to that level. 9,900 no's. My nan stood for nine years to get her son out of prison who was convicted for uh, a murder, the Borden baseball bat murder. Google it, it was on rough justice. We had the press around us pretty much the majority of my childhood life. I was in and out of prisons all of that time going and seeing him, writing Sam Hill's Innocent on all the Palestinian cups and putting it up around the guards' feet and they used to tell me I couldn't do it and I just go and do it again, you know, continually. And people used to walk past and drop the cup down so I could do another one. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, it's not about going out there and fighting anybody. It's about going out there and gathering together, like-minded minds coming together and going, look, my kid goes to school over at that side because I can't get to this side. And, you know, I live in this particular place, but like me, I'm not in appropriate housing. These are the things that we, the people, want. Yes, I want to stay here, or no, I want to move. Actually, I don't want to be in this country. Well, it just takes some time to literally, like I said back in 2010, have a look in the mirror. Take the fucking masks off. Take all the layers of what your mother said you should be and what she thinks of you, your dad has said is, your aunties, your uncles, your fucking cousins, your next door neighbor, your teachers, whatever these people said that you would might be. Just take all that fucking shit off for a minute. If you have to, get a pen and paper and fucking post-it notes, they're brilliant, on the mirror, write down every fucking label that everybody has ever given you and put it all the way around that fucking mirror that you're looking at and have a look at them and say, is that who I really am? Is there anything on there that I actually really believe is about myself, that is my energy to myself? Is it something that I don't want in me and I have to change? Or is it actually something that I really love about me and I don't give a shit whether people think I'm good, bad or whatever, I enjoy what I do. And it really pisses me off because there's people like me out there that are here to give this information, but they're wrapping it up in knowledge, they're pricing it up on stuff, they're bread come teaching, and it's fucking shit because I was one of their mothers in a complete desperate situation when government said in 2010, bang, your life's going to change, mate, and you, you've got a physical condition, you've got four kids, but we're about to completely fucking wipe you out of private rented and throw you into social housing because you ain't going to be able to afford to private rent now. We're going to make it so you're into social housing. So straight away, they then put me in a situation where I can't live to a way that is manageable to my condition and the lifestyle of my children. I make my own choices. I know what I want. Just because I know who I am, what I need around me, what sort of relationships I need around me, what environment environment I need to be in doesn't make me grandeur, doesn't make me a narcissist just because I want to spend my time with affluent people in their creative arts and you know I love sitting around at festivals and I, I wear a lot of these things at festivals anyway do you know what I mean it's easier to go through the VIP door instead of fucking in the thing why not volunteer for a festival it's fun you know when you do you might find something you like stop the beer stop the beer it's causing us problems but at the end of the day other than the Bible and the way that we're being taught for education systems and what our doctors are teaching us and what our mum's been teaching us, draw a line. It's all been wrong. It's all been false. It's all been projections, people's opinions, people's speculations. It's all been hypotheses, so to say. Speculation. And there are individual people out there who are on paths of self-destruction that are causing absolute chaos to people. But when you look at it in a collective and you see it, that there's a particular network that's doing it, then you have to start going, whoa, hang on, it's like the bully at school. It has to take a community to come together and go, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this doesn't happen, but we're gonna sit down now and we're gonna say, 
what we really think. Oh, look, I want you to come and understand. I want you to come and push their wheelchair around for a couple of hours and see how difficult it is to do this. I want you to go into that mother's house and maybe go and help her with her laundry and see what it's like to live with her physical condition. You know, I want you to come out and go and sit with me while I'm taking a testimony of somebody whose house has been broken into and see the devastation of what it is causing to these people when you go in and you you rob all their Christmas tree presents under the tree. You know, we have to do this a different way. We cannot continue in here in Great Britain. I don't know what it's like in other people's countries, but I know what it's like here in this country. And when ITV itself, and they do a lot of research, and I spoke with Blake Ways all the way through it, they would not run with any statistics that were not done through the freedom of request each and every time blackpool we urgently urgently need people in blackpool who have got stories to come forward to the press immediately we have got great people in in journalism that really want to help and push this forward they're just not sure how to bring it together rather than just saying they're kidnapping kids they're failing because they don't know each other and you've got gossip mongers. The Lord said, love thy neighbor. Not fucking rat and ask and tell bullshit lies on people. And gossip. He talked about gossiping. Rule two. Yeah, there are rules. There are commandments. We live by these commandments. They're all based on natural law. We live under natural law. But all of a sudden now, people have got shiny little phones and running around for, bit, you know, things. And people have got trauma and trauma and trauma. The drinking, the suppressing it. Graham actually drinks because he's happy. He doesn't actually drink when he's sad. When he's sad, he sobers up. He drinks when he's happy. He celebrates. And in his life, celebration was a couple of bottles of wine and some champagne. He got used to getting drunk. We have to be responsible for our own actions. But right now, there are people who are not willing to do that. And they're causing absolute significant trauma to families, devastating people. Whether it be intentional or not. Whether it be deliberate whether it just be that people are cunts and arseholes and they just don't it's so self-serving that they're just arrogant fuckers that don't really give a shit about what they're doing we have to come together now and say look this is affecting families and communities like this i've just had another nationality family come in at 10 o'clock at night we do it all the time us British, if we did that, our children are meant to be in bed by half past seven, but who wrote that rule? And if we don't obey to that, then what consequence should there be and why? You know, when they bring all these extra police in, they're going to bring more of the state in. XR was meant to bring the rest of the state in. You know, there's I, I, my fingers might be in many pies, mate, but I don't have the power to achieve all of this. Do you know what I mean? The Lord is doing his own thing. There's a good and light and dark, good and evil, whatever battle going on right now, spiritual and down here in this realm. We have to drop the negative words, spells. We have to get rid of that. We have to define ourselves. We have to stand true in ourselves and in our integrity. Speak the words that we want to create within our universe and our lives. If you can't help someone, just don't hinder them. You don't need to look down on somebody. You don't need to, you know, whatever. And if we actually came together anyway this winter and we, us that are willing to do something, and we actually do open up. Why can't the sports centres open up and bring the homeless in at night and more and us, us down there helping them detox and get through? Why can't we put them into where it is they want to go? Not where we can put them, but where they want to go. Why can't we help people achieve their past rather than being jealous? Why be jealous? And it's not about greed. It's not about greed. And the seven sins are there for a reason. The fruits of the Lord is there for a reason. There is a rule book. It's been contaminated. It's been twisted. They, the 1% didn't want you to know this information. It gets packaged up. An event will cost you millions to have this information. Everybody else just follows in line like the ants and the bees doing as they're told. Getting up to pay the bills to go and feed the fucking war, pay for the war. Say no, why do we want to pay for war? I don't want to come and bomb you. I don't want to come and trash your fucking house. Like I said to these people when I stood my ground out there today, no more, no more. Don't be scared of me. Don't back down to me. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to hit you with the truth. And if you don't like that truth, then I suggest you take a good look at yourself. But who am I to point fingers at anybody else? I'm not here to point fingers at anybody else. When I point one at you, I point three back at myself. I'm here to stand my ground against the people doing it to me, to my family. 
And I'm here to set an example because it's not just happening to me. It's happening to everybody that's sitting here. Fred Wick it's happening to. Holly it's happening to. Who else have I got here? i tell you which ones that are actually families. Jennifer it's happened to. Amber it hasn't happened to, but Amber wanted to adopt. Danielle it's happened to. Anne-Marie it's happened to. Caroline it's happened to. Rebecca it's happened to. And everybody that hasn't commented and hasn't had the balls to, to put their faces up and say, it's happened to me. They took my kids. Social services have taken my kids. And actually, my hands clean. My cans might be a bit dusty. My hands may have, like, you know, whatever. But did they really deserve that? These are draconian orders. These are state-driven processes and protocols. Exposure don't take my child. The police officer said it right at the beginning. I just come on duty, mate. I don't even know what's going on. Yeah? What? You're coming into a family to take their fucking kid and you don't even know what's going on or why. You just follow orders. Get your fucking police shit off and fucking get out there with us. Yeah? Why do you think we chose yellow? Servants servants and if you can travel to come and join us then you are well enough to fucking serve this country right now and we need people stepping up for great britain when i say i am stepping up for britain i'm saying i am getting my fucking shit in order because i will not be responsible for the crash of people around me i will not turn my back on the people out on the streets right now who just don't have the tools because they didn't have the thousands to walk into a seminar and conference and actually set up a self-employed business because they didn't know how. Should we be living under a capitalist society anyway? How should we be living? These are the questions that you need to start asking. Instead of deep being in your trauma, being a victim, look at the situation and go, right, okay, I'm not going to ask why it happened to me. I'm going to say, I'm glad it happened to me because this has been going on for too long. And I'm going to be part of the collective of people who do get our children back, who will be reunited with our families, who will actually just say to the people who have our children right now, if you've abused them, I'm going to have to throw you in prison. But if you have looked after my children, thank you. I'm quite happy for you to continue to see them, but they're my blood, they're rightfully me. Or you might say, actually, I have been healing or... I don't want my kids. If you don't want your kids, then get in out of line. Do you know what I mean? Fuck off. What did you have them for in the first place? Go to prison for neglect and abuse of your child. Don't bring them into the world if you don't want them. If you can't take responsibility for your children, nurturing, educating them, teaching them, you don't dump them into fucking schools. Give the fucking responsibility away to the fucking streets. Get your shit in order and get your kids in line. No wonder we got so many unruly kids out there. And it isn't about a smack and a beat in your kids. It's about loving, sometimes tough love. And if you haven't got the confidence to do that because you're worried because daddy wants it, yeah, mummy gave you a slap and somebody shoved the fucking cock in you, then you need to get over that fucking shit. And I mean it, get over it. It's gone, it's happened. Don't let the cunts fucking take the rest of your life. I'm not. And I've been raped, pillaged and fucking doodad, goodness knows more times from the age of goodness knows what as a child, all the way through to fucking 24. So, seriously, what happened to you doesn't need to define you. You cannot change the people around you. You can't make people do things. And here lays the problem. How, 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 what do you do? If you do not obey to this, we will have power to take your children. Threaten to pay the children, but have to go through with it because parents actually don't have the tools to understand what the fuck you're saying because you talk in such fucking bullshit legalese. And they look at you and go, oh, what's the section 20? I did. What's the fuck's section 20? What's the section 47? Where is this book? Can I read this book, please? Because before you take my children, can I actually have a chance to play a game with you and actually understand the rules that we are playing by? Before they take a child off the breast, before they remove them, really think about the consequences of what you're doing. The, the removal is worse than physical, sexual and emotional abuse. To all you social workers, you judges, you police officers, you are human doings. You are not human beings. You are doing, you are following orders based on a fucking pay to fucking piss people over, fuck people over. Your hands have got blood on them, mate. 
And the message was sent to your banking system today. Let's just say that XR wasn't directly responsible because it's slightly against their protocol to do anything in violence and whatever, but they needed a bit of a shake up with blood on your hands. So a few roads. No, XR do have a very good stand and I'm sure they will be pulled in by people, but you know, it needed to cross over into the red path prior to, you know, a few things. So fuck it, let's do it. Direct action, we don't have to hurt anybody, we don't have to hinder anybody, we don't have to stop people getting to hospitals, we don't have to, you know, do things in certain ways. You just stand your truth. You write the truth. Produce your book, sell it, I'll buy your book, I'll keep a whole bookshelf of all of your stories. I'll even publish all your books with you for you. I've already said I'll always help anybody. I do share out those that are writing books. Get a dictaphone, talk it out, go through your paperwork, do what I'm doing. And if you don't want your story out there and you don't want to be part of this, it's not about it's not about going, oh look what's happened to me. It's about going, look what's happened to me, look what's happened to them, look what's happened to them. Can you not see the pattern? Can you not see? Can you not see where this is going wrong? We all need to be standing in Parliament, every single damn one of us. Make a bus. Let's, Wednesdays, mate. Early morning on Wednesday. Arrive in time for question thing. It's five pounds all the way around the UK on a mega bus. I'm sure you can pay five pounds. It's it's you know, obviously you'll get back. But you could do it at night time for five hours, less a ten hour. That's less than a packet of fags. That's less than a packet of baccy. And you know, you get a bag a week for that. That's I don't know about coke and all that sort of stuff because I've no fucking clue. But like, you know, you, 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 what's your excuse? What's your excuse to turn up at a question time and be in the foyer with me every, as soon as every room comes out? You walk into Parliament, it's fine. We all just walk in. We go in. We sit down. We listen. And we all stand in the foyer and we all wait for me to speak. Simple as that. Done. I'm sick and tired of all of these inquiries coming back and saying, yes, we accept that it's going historically. We're willing to blame somebody who wasn't in position. You know, it's nothing to do with us. But I'm sick and tired of them saying it's not going on current. It is current. I've been on half an hour and I don't actually want to stay on too long tonight because I really want people to actually take the time and spend maybe half an hour. Um, and I need to start getting lots and lots of short videos and they should have all been edited and done and rerun and everything. And But I need a videographer, I need a team, blah, 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 blah. Or I need a proper laptop and I just sit at night time and do it myself while chatting away too. Um, so anyway, we have to find a way for third party uh, false information um, being presented into courts um into having removals etc blah 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 so anyway i have to somehow get milk from this particular point where i'm probably have one upstairs but then i can't go up eight floors while the boys are down there it's a nightmare you know i could do cameras all over the fucking place just so i can move around a bit and people around i'm hoping rocco is going to help me tomorrow i really need help tomorrow i really need to empty the car seats out and bump and, and stuff and i found out that my car may actually be needing to be recalled and also the fact that potentially it's got a fake mot on it so i'm going to get the police to check my car over if it's dodgy bye bye other graham as well all i'm interested in is getting jenny and graham right any fucking snakes in their lives gone i've already removed the guy that comes and takes his money i stood at the window and said hello hello mr lone shark I suggest he gets his card back, and if you turn up here raping money out of him and feeding him with the shit, the police will be here next time you turn up in two weeks. Now, bye-bye. And if you say anything or do anything to him and bully him down there, I will know the difference in him and what he says and what he doesn't. Bye-bye. So that will be happening to somebody else who's made lots of money out of offshore and cars and illegal stuff. And I've had enough of it because people pay consequences and these consequences live with people that then trip them up and cause problems in their lives that lead them into situations that actually weren't their fault. And then people say, oh, you're making excuses. No, it really wasn't their fault. They just weren't strong enough to stand up to it. Well, I am. Why wouldn't I be? I'm my father and my mother's son. I'm not a son, but I'm a daughter. No, I'm not transgender. Like I said at the beginning of my video, when I talk about my daughter, you know, I stood a male thing. Yes, I stand in male energy when I do this. We have mas masculine and feminine energy. You know, I stand 100% because I don't have a man beside me. 
Dean is not beside me. Aaron and Faith's father is not here beside me. My father is not here beside me. My grandfather's, one's a fucking paedophile and one's a fucking drunk. They certainly wouldn't have been beside me. Very strong women in the family, in my mum's side. <coughs> Very strong women. Very strong women. Not so strong men. Because my, well, actually, my, there's only one on my mum's side brother's been, um, he's pretty fucked up um and on my dad's side no i wouldn't really say they were gang gathering men i don't come from royals i don't well actually i come from a lord's blood my granddad was actually lord sir pierce's son but my nan got grandma great nan got fucked off to brighton here so my granddad was born and raised in Brighton, that's why I quite like Brighton. Um, going where my roots are. So anyway, guys, also do your family trees, it'd be fun. Um, anyway, I'm gonna come off because I really don't want to get on, and like I said, so please, 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 direct action doesn't mean you all have to be arrestables, but when it gets to this point, there won't be any arrestables, that's what I'm trying to tell you. So all, <coughs> all yellow jackets, can you please come and join XR? and stand over the arrestables as witnesses and just literally stand with the police um and just say that we are the people's we are the, we are we are the people's peacekeepers do you know what i mean <coughs> be peacekeepers bring bring balance bring truth bring mediation so anyway guys i may bob on later i don't know but i've got a lot of shit here to get on with and i can't get on with it while i'm on and off live so <coughs> and with the adoption letter coming in this morning <coughs> just shutting down social again two days ago dealing with all that sort of stuff you know I'm a bit tired and I just want to sort of get the sofa bed out and just visually go and lay on Dean's chest I might even go and give him a call and see what he's up to so I might be a bit too late I don't know what time it is in Spain so um catch you later guys but please 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 there's a mum really struggling right now I can't share a post I don't have permission to but we need to start floodgating and sending letters to say look we know this mum and and this is not right she's got nine days that she's got to sit and shit herself we need to raise her up we need to get her ready we need to help her get on her feet they take that baby this is a mum we're gonna lose and she'll not lose now on my watch and we shouldn't be losing them on your watch too we're all in the same boat we've all got to help each other it doesn't mean we have to hire each other it doesn't mean we have to be in each other's lives it just means we need to be a network of people that don't troll each other don't give each other shit don't even have to like each other just remember we are one and we have been through this pain and we're united by this pain that's what, what unites us the pain and grief so unleash those gifts guys i don't care whether you can draw paint art express it to your kids write music to your kids poetry to your kids design things for your kids go to do some clay for your kids if you can't do it for you do it for your kids right now start doing it for your kids first they will say you have to do it for yourself and that's great but if you can't do it for yourself right now at least start sending things let's start sending things and all the things that we should be sending let's let them know we're here okay so i love you lots i really 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 do i don't always handle it very well because it's too many people for one person it gets overwhelming but please don't take me personally if you're a troll then you're going to meet a side of me that you don't like if you're hindering one of my families you're going to get something that you don't like just as i am very 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 patient i am also very strong and i stand my ground and by the time we've all finished together um we will all be standing strong we all need to help each other get back our confidence our self-respect, our integrity, our grace, and to actually know that we are worthy of our families being restored. We are worthy of justice. And it doesn't matter what you've been through, it doesn't matter what problems you've had, it doesn't matter what trauma, that's your past. It's gone, gone. Literally in a couple of hours, less than a couple of hours, it's gonna be a new day. It's gonna be a whole new day, a whole new time. This is the present moment as I'm speaking to you and you're speaking. Be in the present moment. Plan for tomorrow and for your future. So let's have a, a vision 
between all of us of what we want Great Britain to be like for our children, for us, what we want to put into it, what environment we want to have around us. And if this isn't it, then go and find where it is, just as I'm going to as well. So, um, namaste, peace out, fuck off, love you lots, and don't be a cunt. And if you can't help, don't hinder. Speak to you later. Bye.